If you've been seeing the Marshall ads for the Homeline 3 series speakers lately and noticed they are kind of vague about the Bluetooth capabilities of them, well, I'm here to explain what the heck is going on. So let's check it out. Woven 3 is ready for the future of Bluetooth technology and has been built to deliver next generation features the moment they're available. So what exactly is this Bluetooth technology that Marshall's talking about? Are they talking about a different number of Bluetooth, 5.2, 5.3? No. What they're talking about is something called LE Audio, which is short for Low Energy Audio. This is a new series of or set of protocols and standards set forth by the Bluetooth SIG group, special interest group, that's seeking to standardize a new method for how to use Bluetooth among new devices. The audio space that we operate in has changed since Bluetooth came out 21 years ago, and rightfully, it's time to get it updated. Marshall has put all of its chips onto the table, betting on this LE audio technology. They are all in and they are ready to go. Over the air updates via the app ensure that your speaker is always up to date with the latest software and features. So as this LE audio comes out onto the market, when you get your firmware update, you should start be able to use these speakers with the LE audio technology inside of this future proof technology will deliver the highest audio quality possible while increasing streaming range and improving your audio sync for a noticeably better connection when you're watching video. For us audio people, what really matters to a lot of us is the audio quality, which comes from the audio codec you're using. Now, if you're using classic Bluetooth, that's going to be using, for the most part, something called SBC, which stands for Low Complexity Subband Coding. Basically, it's MP3 quality audio that's going to your devices. And over time, they've introduced better codecs such as AAC, which is used on the iOS system, aptX, which is a much higher quality system, but not supported by iOS. And then there's LDAC, which Sony uses, which is like apparently nearly a lossless audio codec, but you have to have a Sony to use it. So the Bluetooth SIG group came in and decided to implement a codec that compresses the audio much more efficiently and can provide much higher quality audio while reducing the energy needed to use it. This new codec is called LC3 and I have a link to it below so you can actually sample some of the audio differences between the other codecs. Also on its way is the multi-stream feature that will allow you to connect to multiple speakers from one device. So what's this multicast streaming thing you're hearing about? Well, essentially, this is a new technology from the LE Audio Tech that's going to allow you to get perfect stereo pairing between your speakers. Essentially what it is, it's a technology called Unicast, which blah, 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 it creates these isynchronous groups that shoot audio to multiple devices at the same time and force them to render the audio at the same time so that you get perfect syncs. Usually how this is done is via some sort of proprietary technology in devices beforehand. For example, if you had some earbuds, your Bluetooth might connect to one of the buds and then it uses some sort of special tech to shoot it to the other. Well, now it's getting standardized so that there's actually a simplified system to make perfect stereo pairing among speakers. And the broadcast feature that will allow you to broadcast audio to other devices. So what's this broadcast feature they're talking about? Well, that's something advertised by this new technology as AuraCast. Essentially all it means is that there's technology now that they're gonna be implementing where you can cast to an unlimited number of devices. This maybe doesn't make as much sense for these devices specifically because they're just home speakers mainly. If you're in an airport and you wanted to tune your earbuds to listen to the flights that are going, or if you're going to a bar and you wanted to tune into the TV and not annoy everyone else, you could just listen privately to that channel. That's basically what this broadcasting or AuraCast feature is. When this next generation Bluetooth technology is released, you can feel secure knowing that your speaker is ready for it. When is this coming out? Well, they don't know exactly yet, but it sounds like the holiday season is kind of where they're looking at rolling out some more of the features. The Bluetooth special interest group doesn't really make the technology. I think they more like implement the mathematics and the protocols and the standards behind it, and they leave it to the manufacturers that join their group after they pay some sort of royalty to implement the technology. So as a Marshall user, basically this is what you can expect if everything rolls out as planned. You should be able to stereo pair your speakers perfectly from one phone. You'll also be able to play speakers throughout your house because of the broadcast feature where you can have them each tune into the channel that your phone creates. And three, you should be getting the best audio quality with the LC3 codec which will allow you to distribute 
probably almost lossless quality with half the bit weight that's normally needed for that. Bluetooth technology is changing rapidly, except they rolled out the products before the Bluetooth tech was actually fully implemented. So this is gonna be a bumpy ride. And now you can see why those advertisements were a little vague and confused probably you just as much as it confused me when I first watched them. Anyways, I hope you thought that was helpful. I had to do a lot of digging to find out more about this upcoming technology. So if you found that helpful, give me a like and a subscribe, or just let me know what you think in the comments. I like the discussion. So I'll see you later. Bye.